Now, why is it when people say be simple, it's sort of like celebrated, but God is actually not celebrating it, he's against it. And he's saying, how long you simple ones will you love your simplicity? Because, which means God is saying, I don't want you to love that realm of being a simple person. Now, hear me very well here. The mindset of a person is very, very important. Tell someone, say, the mindset of a person, say, it's very, very important. Prostitutes are simple people. And people who sleep around, in, they lack understanding and the Bible calls them simple people. When you go even to Proverbs chapter 7, I will go back maybe to chapter 9, but let's go to 7-7, seven, seven, Proverbs 7-7. Seven, seven. It also tells us, maybe when you start from verse 6, it says, For at the window of my house I looked through my lattice. This is Solomon is saying, I, he was one day on the window of his, of his house, and he looked through his, the lattice of his window, and so among the simple, he saw among the simple, I perceived among the youths a young man devoid of understanding. This young man was simple. This young man lacked understanding. So which means the simplicity that was in this young man was because of lack of understanding. And the lack of understanding made him simple. And what did he see this young man doing? He was passing along the street near her corner. And he took the path to her house. Continue, please, going down. In the twilight, in the evening, in the dark, in the black and dark night, and there a woman met him with the attire of a prostitute, a harlot, and a crafty heart. She was loud and rebellious. Her feet would not stay at home. We have children like this today. At times she was outside, at times in the open square, lacking at every corner. Now, that's why you must be very careful of women who come to church and they can't sit on their chair. But they walk too much out, in, out, in. Th those people have a certain demonic spirit. They really need deliverance in their lives because it's a spirit of prostitution, of wanting to be seen by men in the church. And they usually do it when the prophet starts to preach, when everyone is paying attention. And they will be dressed in a funny way, moving to and fro. It's like they have a problem with the urethra, it cannot hold urine. They have to be to and fro to the toilet, the whole surface. That lack of discipline, it's a spirit. And especially if you see people wanting to stay in corners or outside talking, ask someone, say, are you not simple? When you go to verse 18, can we go to verse 18? Verse 18. Go down, proverb. So she caught him and kissed him with an impudent face. She said to him, go to verse 14. I have peace offerings with me today. I have paid my vows. Go to continue down. So I came out to meet you diligently to seek your face and I found you. I have spread my bed with the tapestry colored coverings of Egyptian linen. Uh -huh. 
Come, let us take our fill with, with love until morning. Let us delight ourselves with love. For my husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. She is a married woman, but look at what she's doing. He has taken a bag of money with him and will come home on an appointed day. With her enticing speech, speech she caused him to yield. With her flattering lips, she seduced him. Immediately, he went after her as an ox goes to the slaughter and as a fool to the correction of stocks. Till an arrow struck his liver. As a bird hastens to a snare, he did not know it will cost his life. And the Bible says also, a road leads to hell. Now, brethren, now, I, I want you to understand something. The reason why this young boy is behaving in the manner he is behaving, it's because he is simple. He is not complicated. And he is an easy prey for the devil because he can be cracked easily. Now, let me teach you something. I am a very much approachable man of God. And I believe also humble in another way. Very humble, very approachable but very complicated. Uh, you can even see with my dressing that it's not easy to come by. I'm a complicated man of God. Not easy to crack. Now, I, I don't understand why it's so easy for a woman to find you and to sleep with you. Because it's a sign that you are very simple. If you check even me as your father, around me there is security. <laughs> because I want to go to heaven. I frustrate prostitutes because I move with my wife complicated. Every day. I am with my wife. So when they look at me, they wish for a day when they will see me alone. And when I am alone, I will be in my car, packed. I always tell people that when you see me without Mama Chisa, she will be in a saloon. And if you look around outside, the prophet will be there reading his Bible, waiting for his wife. So if you come trying to model with your miniskirt, my wife might be coming out of a saloon. Very complicated man of God. Oh, can I go deeper? Can I teach somebody? I am not simple, but I'm humble. I am not simple, but I'm approachable. Oh, can I talk to somebody in this place? I, I hope you understand me. Hallelujah. I don't do counseling to women without my wife seated next to me. And in my office, even my PA machine to go through serious training, when you come, I, I see people, they come for counseling. But she's trained when they come, even women, she begins to move before booking them to check those with the mini skirts who are not serious for counseling. <laughs> with the mini, mini, mini things. And she has some pashminas that she gives them. So that when you are, when you are being counseled with the men of God, it must be counseling. Yeah. Not counseling. Counseling. It must be counseling, not counseling. I'm trying to cancel the anointing of the men of God with your dressing. 
and everyone at our church. If you want to see prophet, you produce your ID, and she writes your ID number. Because there are some who came and said, but why? Just to see prophet Jesus, you demand our ID. I heard them yeah, telling them that, no, if you can't produce your ID, you can't see the man of God. If you are here for help, why are you not free to release your ID? Why are you afraid? So you are not genuine. Because here we are genuine and we do serious things. Because there are reasons why we do those things. We want to know you. We want to know who you are. And she wants to see it. You, you are not allowed to see me ask those who have come without producing your ID. She checks by the one which you gave here on the phone and the one which you have. But we are approachable, but in a very complicated way. You, you, <laughs> you, you, you are allowed to come and see the prophet. So I have noticed if you hear even a woman who goes out of ego life saying, it's very difficult, it's not, it's not easy to see prophet Jesus. What, what, what? That is a lie. Because what they are trying to tell you is that he is complicated. You see him, but he, 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 is, not, he is complicated. His environment, you, you cannot break <laughs> to do what they want. Because how can you leave church? Because when you came to see me, you had to be booked by a PA, and you were given a pashmina. And your ID was asked. So why did, did you come to worship God or to see prophet? What is your reason for coming to church? To an extent that you leave church because prophet Jesus is always with his wife. Ah, 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 ah. Let's, let's be fair here. Why have you come to the house of God? Because I think you have some intentions. You have a certain motive which we don't understand. Because if I see you with my wife seated next to me and I cancel you and kiss my wife maybe twice, or what's, what's the problem with you? What's the problem with you? Because what you need is counseling. So what I'm doing with my wife, where my wife is seated, that's not your problem. But you find a lot of women, that is a problem. So I begin to ask myself, why did that one leave? Ah, no. Say, Prophet Jesus is always with the security around him. So what's wrong for a man of God to have protection? What is bothering you about that? Ask someone, what is bothering you? Why? Why? Why, why don't you want me to have security? Why do you want me to be alone? Huh? Say, huh? <laughs> to an extent, it frustrates you to leave church. Then you are not serious of worship. You have come for other things. And I am not that type of a prophet who is simple. Hallelujah. 